when she sees the head of Hussein being raised as the Sheikh said, said, said and she says wa muhammad and it's there in this moment close your eyes bow your heads close your eyes bow your heads come with me again to the land of karbala it's there where she stands after everyone is gone ali al akbar alayhi salam is gone al qasim alayhi salam his small body has been dragged across the ground and left upon the plains of karbala the two severed hands of abbas are by the river and his flag has fallen to the floor and the tents have been burnt and the orphans are crying and the time has come for them all to wear chains and march toward Yazid and Sham and it's here that Zainab calls out in her pain her, washed, her once hushed voice it breaks the heart why? she says I cannot stay beside Hussein and from Hussein I cannot part I cannot stay beside Hussein and from Hussein, I cannot part. She cries out as her tears stream. Her veil, it yearns to wipe her tears. With everything that she's seen in one day, she stands aged 1,000 years. How do her pupils still remain, seeing those moons ridden with spears? To Hussein, she edges ever closer. I ask you, how does her soul not leave her? Seeing lying there her butchered brother, what do her pupils still lead to? With no soul and a crushed heart, her steps, they soften. Her hands, they clench. Her bones, they shake. And she trembles. She gasps for air. And with every step, her lungs are tightened and brittle. Her mind grips her tongue, saying, What you see is beautiful. Do you see that flesh and bone? Naked and left all alone. Your beloved, everything that you've known. Every step brings her toward Hussein, and every step breaks her apart. She says, How can I remain beside Hussein? How can I re remain be beside him? And by this sight be broken. How can my soul still stand with me and by Allah not be taken? How can I keep these girls here because they keep crying, O oh, Father, awaken? How can I remain and stand here upon this tormenting sand? My brother's blood stains its land. I must begin my mission so that my revolt can begin. But how can I leave my beloved? How can I leave my beloved and without him still carry on? When Hussein's soul left, it took mine because Zainab and Hussein are one. How can I leave his body butchered, naked and alone? How can Zainab bint Ali ever again drink water freely? My brother here butchered and thirsty, even if I was taken captive from here, how can I depart? For I am the one who witnessed my brother left abandoned. I am the one who witnessed the veins of his neck opened, and I witnessed the body of Hussein by Yazid's horses flattened. Tell me someone who was slain, thirsty and alone, like Hussein, as the skies of blood upon him rain. She says, how much beauty I have found in a pain of world and hurt. One would think that the heart of Zainab has seen enough. But she is dragged across the sands of the deserts as people throw rubbish at the daughters of Ali Muhammad, as people curse Ali bin Talib alayhi salam, and all this while the heads on the spears accompany them. And they're dragged across the plains of the desert all the way to Sham, where Yazid humiliates them. Until the day comes, the day of Arba'in. We just passed the day of Arba'in. Many of us here were lucky enough to go toward the ziyar of Muhammad alayhi salam. Inshallah, a few lines of poetry about Sayyid Zain alayhi salam before I welcome Sayyid Mason from Matam. And today, I'm sure all of you have seen on your screens, or those of you who are there, 21 million souls beside the grave of Hussein. But there was a time when the only people to return to the grave of Hussein were a few women and Imam Sajjad salam, who had their bodies covered with dust. 
Their bodies were covered with dust. Their wrists were red from the chains of Yazid. Blood dripped from the scars within them. And it's here that Sayyid Zainab must return to the grave of Hussein with one difference to what we see, which is that with them they carry the heads of Imam Hussein, of Al Abbas, Al Akbar, and all the martyrs to return the heads toward the bodies. As she walks toward Karbala, come with me now, she says, Oh, dead, we've returned with the children. And we cry out, Ya Hussein. She says, Oh, dead, we've returned with the children. And we cry out, Ya Hussein, forgive us because our wrists, they have faded skin from Yazid's chains. And we've brought the heads here one by one to your bodies. They be returned. Zainab says, is that Karbala on the horizon? Because my steps are heavy and grabs my cloak through the orphans. The desert heat is familiar. It's as if crying out from thirst are our tongues and the color of the sand has changed as from earth tones to blood red the sand has become and the sky begins to rain blood. Forgive me brother. As bathed in blood I come, I tried to wear black, but please know that I'm in mourning. I've buried children sent to heaven from lamenting. As the severed head they'd weep upon, to your bodies they shall be returned. She says, we return, and the tents are gone, but I can still feel the smoke grip at our throats. She says, we return and the tents are gone, but I can still feel the smoke grip at our throats. The orphans are gasping for air. I can't tell if from the tears or smoke they choke from beneath their small gowns. You can see flowing blood. Oh, my brother, they whipped your girls if ever they spoke. And they cursed our father Haydar as at your severed head, oh my beloved, they would poke. Oh Hussein, if you knew just what we've been through, would you not rise? It's not difficult to see our hurt. Just look into my eyes. The severed heads have seen what happened. I kneel at your grave, my brother. She says, I kneel at your grave, my brother. I pick up the dust and I throw it upon my head. Perhaps if I throw enough dust with your embrace, you'll return back from the dead. But I cannot see you headless. I cannot see you headless. So your head back to you, my brother, I've handed. Forgive me. Its color has been changed from how much of your pure blood, oh my brother, it bled. She says, rise up from your grave so I can give it back to you. Just for a moment, hold this orphan that you once knew as the other heads we hold in our arms. As your children, they cling to my garment and they say, is that our father buried beneath the ground? Because we can still smell his Hashimi scent and we smell it mixed with the dried blood of his shroud and we hear an infant crying as if deep in his father's chest he has drowned on his chest till they become one, our father and our brother, for heaven bound. Our brother Azgar, his tiny arms, they still cling to his own king and his father. And we can hear Hussein cradle him, and we hear him still humming, Oh my Azgar, as the heads of our men are wailing, and to your body they shall be returned. She says, I leave the children by your grave and I begin to walk toward the river. She says, I leave the children by your grave and I begin to walk toward the river. A flag is with me, just so that eyes can see that a flag still flies by the grave of the flag bearer. I kneel down by Abu Fawl. I kneel down by Abu Fawl and I say, do you recall me, your sister? For weeks I would remember your name. Why? Because the girls would cry your name Abbas when they were struck by Shimon. 
The girls would cry your name, Abbas, when they were struck by shimmer. When the girls would cry, oh Abbas, I would hear them laugh. The devils rejoiced, watching your eye, staring at us. The other heads we hold in our arms, and to your bodies we shall be returned. But my brothers, it's not over. But my brothers, it's not over. As the widows weep for Akbar and Qasim, because we are only the first visitors. And one day they shall come in their millions. The eye of Abbas shall watch over them and shroud them from the heat with his two wings. And Hussein shall raise his two hands, saying, Oh Allah, grant them your salvation. They shall come walking like us struggling. They shall come walking like us struggling. In our honor, they shall be welcomed by our orphans and my brothers when they die. By us they'll be welcomed, and to your bodies they shall be returned. Ya Hussein, Ya Hussein.